Hey everybody, Thorgo here. Uh, today we're going to be playing some uh, Mega Duck, playing some Astronauts Call, but before we get started I wanted to just walk you through a little bit of using the Thorg Launcher. So uh, we've had a couple questions on how to get multiple account launches working, how to get the advanced mode working. Um, normally people are using simple mode just to get off real quick, but uh, advanced mode is where you want to go. So first thing you want to do in decal is you want to add, uh, it might ask you to update, that's fine, add and browse to the install directory of Thorg Launcher, which I think mine's in here, and go to Thorgo Games, Thorg Launcher, Mag Filter DLL. Mag Tools is something completely different, don't worry about that for right now. Mag Filter DLL, this version matched to the launcher, and if you look, we're at 4660. If this is not in decal, advanced mode will not work. It'll have a little timer down here that continually restarts your clients. The reason for that is what the, the whole idea between the mag filter is it's actually looking in the game, making sure that your client's working, and telling the launcher that yes, you're good. So we'll take a look at the UI here real quick. If you look, it's got the account name and then a little symbol here. Right now, it's a tiny violin. The tiny violin is, hey, you're not logged in right now, and so we're sad. The other uh, possible symbols are a check mark, that means you're good to go, or a rainy umbrella. Rainy umbrella means that it's not quite sure what um, state your connection to the server is. It does like a 30 second check before it decides, oh yeah, something's up. So real quick, just an, a quick overview, there's profile based launches. So right now, if we're, for example, in the default launch, you can see a bunch of different uh, accounts. Only one of them is checked, it's the fat AC one for Megaduck AC with a description and the IP. This drop down over here, now this is always going to say none um, for people that have first gotten into the game, just put MagFilter on and it doesn't have anything picked in here. There won't be any choices in the drop down until you log into the account first. And until you log into that account the first time and get this character list, this status up here won't show. You'll see these guys down here don't have a status, don't have a server selected. These are some of the accounts that I uh, put just as, as an example for um, possible launches, you know what I mean, just so we can test some certain things. Um, so <clears throat> if, if I click launch right now, the only thing that will happen is it will launch just this Swargo account. Now I have more profiles set up. I've, using new profile, if I click new profile, what it will do right now is duplicate default into another profile with the name default1, default2, whatever it is, increment it up. You can click here and you can see that I have a, uh, the uh, cursor here. I can start typing and name this something different. I can delete this profile. Um, if you delete the default profile, it'll just remake default again with uh, nothing selected. So the other thing you can do is go back and next through your different profiles. So this is the Megaduck profile. This has got uh, all of the things selected for Megaduck. If I hit next again, I've got P, um, P's testing. So you can see this guy's set and ready to launch into P server there, um, but not selected. So if I select these guys and then I go back to Megaduck, those guys are selected. If I go back to P, those guys are selected and these are going to launch into P server. Now, obviously, P server is up only for testing, so if I try to launch this, what it'll do is it'll launch and keep trying to go until it fails. It'll close that client, try the next account until that fails, then try the next account. So if you see it looping like that, there's either uh, you're not you're missing mag filter or the server's down. So the, the server status is, is here in green and red. If the server's up, you'll get a green check mark. If it's down, it's got a red X. It checks and updates this status if it's been off so for example the p server if this has been off it's going to check again every 15 seconds if it's successful it's going to check again every five minutes that's to stop blasting every server with with checks when it's a known good state now what that means is if the server goes down within five minutes of the last time it checked it won't show down what you can do if you're worried and you're not positive is if you close the launcher and open it up again it checks Immediately. This said, yep, immediate. This one is like, uh, double check it. Okay, no, it's off. So if it's off, it'll check immediately every time you launch. So that's a quick way if you're if you're like, ah, uh, it seems like it's down, nothing's working, you can close it, launch it again and double check, and it'll be either up or down. So this is this is up, it's good to go. Um 
some of the other menus here people have asked I'm not gonna I'm not gonna open it right now but if if you have an account listed here and you've set up your passwords and all that kind of stuff and something's wrong uh, it's typed wrong or whatever if you click open user file it's gonna open a notepad document that has all your account information listed there you can edit that there um, if you click edit users this pops open a little panel I'll make it a little bit smaller out of the way a little bit and move it in the center here for you so if you look at this this is an account name all the listed and what priority they're gonna launch in so this is gonna start with each account and go down the list in order so if you're like oh I have five things listed here but I want this one to always launch first because I want to get him set up while the other ones are logging in this is where you do that the other thing you can do is give it an alias so if you have an account name and you want to call this um, team one whatever you want to call it you know what I mean you can put an alias here and then that'll show up here instead of your account name so that's what that window is for add users is just like you'd think it would be <clears throat> open up on my other monitor sorry drag it in here for you so add users is just like you think so the first time you come in if you don't have any accounts here this is where you add a new account um, on the current version of fat AC there is no um, registration process the only thing you have to do is put a username and a password I would caution that this is less secure than some actual websites and things like that so don't put a password that you use everywhere um, it could be compromised don't don't worry about it we'll just you know will help you get your account squared away or whatever but don't put something in here you don't want anybody to know about and also don't use spaces in the username and password or um, certain special characters I don't lock those uh, in here there's no um, intelligence behind uh, making sure you make the account name correct that could be a future update or upgrade or whatever but at this point uh, that's not something that it does for you so just make sure that you put um, a username and password in here that doesn't have any super complex uh, spacing and special character stuff like that so anyway that's where you can add account you can do five at a time open it up again add five more open it up again add five more as many as you need um, and then edit servers this is the server list so this is a curated list of uh, fat AC and also ACE servers there are no currently live ACE servers so you'll see the EMU type is the emulation version type and right now all of them say fat if you add a server it's going to open up this window here and you can see that you can make an ace one or a fat one and give it a server name give it a description give it an IP and a port and then RODAT people don't know what this means this is read only data this is whether or not whether or not you want your data file in your game client to be read only meaning the servers either gonna give me that when I go through the portals or it's gonna stay the same as it was and stay like that so uh, either way um, this depends on who th who's running the server how they have it set up so the way that the current server list works is this is a list that's ran by CMOS EMP um, and whatever servers they think should be on the list are on the list um, you'll notice that I only have two showing up here so what I did was there's a visible column and what you can do is on even some of the curated list ones if I don't want to see this because P server is only going to be on when I know it is I can actually make that invisible when I close that now it's not there anymore so you can hide some of the ones you're never going to like use plugin server I don't even think this is currently um, hosted at the moment it, it maybe in the in the future um, so you can just hide that I don't want to look at it I'm not going to click it you know I'm, I'm set up to do peas and mega duck that kind of thing so that's what that's for and you can add like um, if I'm doing a local test server I'm running a server on my own for ace or whatever it may be I can add my own local host server here and then when I'm not really using it too often or I, I have you know stop my development or whatever it is you can just double click that bad boy and change the visibility on it so just kind of a quick overview of what some of these buttons do why they do the, the things that they do um, if you click log this is going to open a little log viewer generally this is going to have zero items here almost never is this going to have anything in it um, that's because by default the verbosity of the log files are set to very very low um, this is more of a development thing so you really don't need to worry about this button but what happens is if I if you're having a trouble with the launcher I can say hey go to your configuration settings for the launcher uh, which is a text file in the install directory um, and change how much logging there is and then when those logs will start showing up here um, I think that's it for showing you how to use the launcher um, I think that uh, you know if you have any questions I'm in discord all the time uh, I'm around 
ask me, ask some of the other guys that use this tool a lot, um, and uh, we'll, we'll get you squared away. So just wanted to give you a quick overview, give you some of the information on how to use this bad boy, and until next time, it's been Thwargle. Bye.